I'm Dr. Laura Sennett, audiologist and audio engineer with Tuned. People ask me all the time, how do I choose an earplug? What is the best earplug out there right now? There really isn't an answer that works for everyone. I could talk about earplug criteria for hours, but it's 2023 and nobody has that attention span anymore. So I'm going to give you the three most important criteria for choosing the best earplug for you. One, make sure it's sealing your ear. If it's half hanging out or doesn't seem to be reducing much sound, especially bass and low frequencies, it's probably not sealing your ear. A seal is crucial for the earplug to work properly. In general, an earbud style earplug doesn't seal as well as the triple flange mushroom tip. Also in general, foam tips seal best. Well, custom molded earplugs seal best, but if you don't have those, then foam is generally second best. This includes disposable foam earplugs, AKA foamies, but I'm mainly referring to filtered plugs with foam ear tips. I have verified this over and over when testing earplugs. Two, what is the purpose for wearing earplugs? The more sound you wanna reduce, the stronger your earplug should be. It's kind of like SPF for sunscreen. Are you trying to block out as much sound as possible, like when you're on an airplane? Full disposable foam earplugs could work really well or active noise cancellation earphones, of course. Are you trying to protect your hearing at a concert where you wish you didn't need earplugs at all? A filtered plug with a little bit of sound reduction or attenuation is what you want. Are you walking around New York City and you wanna reduce traffic sounds but still maintain situational awareness? AirPods Pro in transparency mode with noise reduction set to maximum could work pretty decently. Foamies inserted properly will reduce 15 to 40 dB of sound depending on how well it's sealing your ear. The custom silicone ER9 filtered earplug will reduce 9 to 15. And then there are electronic earplugs, electronic earplugs that you can fine tune and equalize. The options are almost endless. If you're shopping online, the published noise reduction rating or NRR may be the only data point you get when exploring options but know that it is by no means a perfect data point and only an average of sound reduction over the whole sound spectrum. It's kind of like looking at this image and saying, it's orange or it's blue. It doesn't give you the full picture. And three, will you need to talk with your earplugs in or sing or play a trumpet? There's a term in audiology called occlusion effect. This refers to that boomy, resonant, head in a barrel sound that you hear when you talk with earplugs in. And this happens because low frequencies from your voice or bass sounds from your voice get trapped in your ear when you have an earplug in. Typically, the shorter and stubbier the earplug tip, the worse the occlusion effect. However, if you're not getting a good seal, you won't hear the occlusion effect because the low frequencies from your own voice will leak out and also low frequencies from the sound around you will leak in. If you don't plan on talking at all, this doesn't really matter. If you're still confused and you're still unsure of what to do, talk to an audiologist.